as the U.S. has tonight blocked a proposed statement to U.N. Security Council uh, drafted by Russia calling for the conflict in Libya's besieged city of Bani Wali to be resolved peacefully. This as loyalist militias are mounting their offensive in the last stronghold of Muammar Gaddafi's supporters. Let's go live to New York and our correspondent Marina Portnoy is there. Marina, this news uh, tonight has been greeted with some amount of dismay on the Russian side, isn't it? It certainly has. As you mentioned, uh, the U.S. and Western countries did not back the Russian uh, drafted uh, press statement. Uh, they said that they were they cited the need for further consultations. Now, uh, the Russian envoy to the U.N., Vitaly Cherkin, says in the aftermath of last month's deadly attack in Benghazi that killed four Americans, it's quite surprising that the U.S. would be blocking a statement that is condemning the use of violence in dealing with Libya's political problems. Uh, Ambassador Cherkin says it's very strange and the, the behavior of the U.S. delegation with respect to the Russian draft sta uh, press statement uh, is, in, in this situation is hard to rationally explain. Now, this Russian draft Security Council press statement on uh, Bani, uh, Bani Walid uh, expressed grave concern about the escalation of violence in and around the city, uh, in particularly uh, the reports of growing civilian casualties, including uh, children. The, the statement also called on the Libyan authorities to take urgent steps to resolve the conflict by peaceful means and to preserve the rights of all Libyan citizens. And the statement also stressed the need to promote national reconciliation and inclusive political dialogue in Libya. It was quite, quite surprising uh, to many of us journalists that were at the UN stakeout to find that there was no agreement made on this, uh, this Russian draft press statement that was tabled uh, to the Security Council just a day ago. But uh, as we are reporting, uh, U.S. and Western countries say that they need uh, further consultations before they could uh, endorse a press statement that essentially condemns this violence, violence that began in the beginning of October and, and, and we see is escalating uh, day by day. So that is the most uh, recent update uh, coming from the U.N. Security Council. But, uh, Kevin, of course, these, these conversations will clearly continue in the days to come. Absolutely. We'll be covering it too with your help. Marina Portnair in New York, thank you very much.